Hey guys, this is Gary coming back to you here with another press brake installation video and laser on this one. Very, very cool facility over in Fort Worth. This is Reason Robotics, or actually I think they changed their name, but that's how I know them by. Um, you can see what a very just sort of eclectic facility they have here. Uh, these guys started out developing some software related to robotics, and now they've sort of switched over into manufacturing using the software and and knowledge they have around robotics so they bought a laser from best cutter and then bought a press brake from me so this is a five foot 70 ton fabricator press brake and you can see my truck and trailer there only about an hour and a half from me to get over to fort worth actually an hour and 20 minutes so i just hauled it myself these days, I don't really do too much hauling anymore, uh, especially the smaller, more basic press brakes like the two axis and four axis. If you get like a complicated one, 3D, eight axis, I do uh, go on site for those. So you're gonna see a lot in this video uh, showing the details of the rigging uh, because I got a lot of footage of that. And then once we started doing training and setup, you know, it's a little bit harder for me to film that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna, voice over here and uh, give you some some updates this facility uh, was pretty tricky some tight areas and this rigging company did an awesome job very professional took their time you know thought through it got it all set up uh, very nice equipment skilled guys uh, running the show here so I was back down this somewhat small alleyway here and uh, they lifted the brake up, you know, and then I pulled out from under them, as you can see. Um, and then right inside the door is where we're going, but there's an immediate ramp as you get in there. So it's a, it's a little bit tricky. So as I mentioned, these guys, I, I connected them up with Best Cutter, kind of working some package deals with Best Cutter. Awesome lasers. As you guys know, I, I'm not selling lasers anymore, but here's a look at the Best Cutter Fly series uh, machine. Very cool design with... Uh, you know, exchange table configuration, five by 10 format, but also has the full sliding door side access. So you can, you know, work on your parts and things. And here's some guys here from Best Cutter that were doing the training. They were wrapping that up while I was there. And uh, just can't say enough about Best Cutter. You can email me if you want a package deal with uh, Best Cutter and a break. Uh, you know, we can work on that together. Um, or, you know, you can contact them. Just let them know you saw it in my video they will hook you up. So I ship these press brakes out all over the country. We usually ship two, three press brakes out every week and they go to all kinds of shops in all kinds of environments and challenges. So I like to show as much of the rigging as I can if I'm on site when the rigging is done. Uh, you know, so many different ways that things can get done. Uh, this is by far the safest way, you know, a forklift with a boom. Uh, I've seen lots of sketchy things done, but these guys, as I mentioned, you got a tight uh, height on the door opening there. And then immediately when you go in the door, you've got a reasonably steep ramp to deal with. Uh, you can see it in the picture here, the video. It's actually more steep in person than it appears to be. So while the forklift was still reasonably level before it got all the way down the ramp, uh, they chose to stop and just uh, set it down on a flat spot. And then there was another entrance to the building where they could come around from the inside. 
and grab it and move it into place uh, from there and you'll see that here next. So one mistake a lot of guys make on uh, you know doing their own rigging or renting a forklift is they underestimate you know the size of the forklift needed to lift a machine. This is a small machine; it only weighs 6,200 pounds. And uh, but they brought a 15 uh, 15,000 pound rated forklift because it you know the uh, the rating is normally on most forklifts is at a 24 inch load center. So as you get further out from the mast the uh, amount of weight that you can lift safely drops tremendously. And so if you want the ability to sort of reach out and, you know, have some space and, and all that to work with and flexibility, just get a bigger forklift. And rigger forklifts are kind of built really compact, uh, but still have a really high, you know, capacity. And that this, I don't know what brand this one was, but they, cause they had it all painted up. Uh, with their own rigging branding um, but it as you can see it's doing this job really easily so this is Jay Moore machine removers out of Fort Worth Texas and again they did an awesome job you can take a look at their sweet Landall trailer and Peterbilt rig with the stacks on it just a cool setup So here we go, finally, got it, got it in place, got fluid in it, got it wired up, and this is Alfredo and Kenneth, the main crew over here at Reason Robotics. And uh, they were pretty excited to get their laser up and running, and now their press brake. And so we're just kind of showing them how to use it and how to uh, you know, make your first test spins, get you know, tool selection set up, uh, find your angles, and then dial it in using correction. And uh, so we will show you some action here. Positive correction right here. Alright. What do I say? 487. So that's point, uh, one, oops, point one, one, three. Looking like it. He made you another square, see if that'll work. Oh yeah. That, that might be the, is that the old one? Uh, maybe. Mm. Well, you, you're gonna have issues measuring. You gotta measure on the inside. Look at on, look at on the outside. I think. Yeah, there you go. Does it feel solid? Maybe a half a degree open or something still. Maybe. Yep. I'll say that's square. Send it. Cool. You want to do one? Go ahead. So that was Kenneth taking a turn, and then here's Alfredo jumping on it. And uh, this, uh, I, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Alfredo was kind of the architect or the developer of their robotic software. And so he's a little bit new to machinery and, and manufacturing and fabrication, but you could just tell... He was picking up on it super fast. Uh, 
Yeah, so we're a little open, just like we would want. Should be 94, 95 degrees. It's about 96, isn't it? Yeah. Looks like a little bit under 90. Yeah, almost. Yeah, it's almost right on. Yeah. Yep. About a half a degree open still. So there's your 135. And then now let's put the 90 on the other end. It's ready. Yep. Automatic. So after doing a few test bins, we switched over to a, a part that they are going to be possibly making and um, a little bit of a complicated design that required, uh, you know, the order of operation to be right and some splits in the uh, punches to allow for clearance on the return. And uh, you'll get a look at the part here. But anyway, we're kind of wrapping this one up. And uh, thanks, guys. And again, BenForceBrakes.com if you're interested in one of these. And we'll see you on the next one.